Welcome back everyone. In today's tutorial, we'll be learning about functions in Julia. So what is a function? A function is an object that is usually used to map an argument so that it will return a value. That means that it's an object which is used to do a specific activity and then that activity that does, after, after it has finished doing it, it will return it. So in Julia, you start a function by using this function and then the name of the function, so we'll be using function x then into this bracket so into this bracket i'm going to put either your single argument your multiple and double argument as the argument is going to be inside this bracket so we'll be using an argument two argument right then you don't bring an a semicolon you go straight away then you come back with you, you make, check the indenting tap then let's say i'm going to make it like c is equal to a then plus b right so you're going to return this the return is used to return the last activity you're supposed to do. So C. If you don't bring the return, it's still going to work perfectly for you. By default, it will return the last activity there. Then you end with end. This end is very important. Without this end, it can't be a function. So it is perfectly working. So to call the function, just go with X, then to bracket. So we have another 45 and then 50. Right? So don't add it to us. Let's do another one like. 90 and then 100 it's going to work perfectly for us so this is how a function is done in julia there's another way you can also do a function the traditional method for example if i have a function like function f then i have something like let's say um, s as usual y right and then i want to go straight away with s plus y plus y and n so i can just call the f Let's say I put another number like 9 and then 12. It's going to work 21. So this is another way you can do it. But I can make it a one line by making it like this. Instead of function, function x and then y. Like how we write in mathematical equation. Then s plus y. Right. So since we have already written it like this, it's going to overwrite it. So let me make it something different. Like but we multiply so that's going to give us something different like it has overwritten it so in case i do to call it straight away like function let's say the same thing 9 9 and 12 it's going to calculate it perfectly for us and give us a multiplication of it which is 180 so this is one simple way you can do it you do a function which is quite simple so this is the concept about functions and there are several aspects of functions you can also do you can do complex functions you can do easy functions another way you can also do that you can also assign this function f which you already have to a different value for example if i have this f i can assign it to something like let's say h so f then i'll bring this semicolon right so by this now i can just use this h without the f and then do the same function as this f was doing so like Let's see 5 and then 6. So that's the same thing. So this is another way you can usually use to assign a function to another variable to be using it, to be passing it and using it. Okay, so let's check and see whether I can do something useful with this function. Let's say you want to calculate the body mass index of something. So we go straight away like function, then BMI, body mass index. Then to put our, into bracket our weight and then our height. Right. Then go back to let's say our BMI BMI index right is equal to the weight which we have already weight here yeah, and then divided by the height which is supposed to be raised to the power two right so this is how it's going to be so you just go straight then go back and then return this value return BMI in this right then end so now it's perfectly going to work perfectly for us so if, if i want to just call it i'll go straight away with you can go straight away with something like this uh, bm uh, bmi right i'm calling the function so what is our weight let's say it weight is let's say 120 right and then its height 120 is to make it with 60, right? 60 kg, and then his height is 140. 
so it's going to calculate it for us which is quite very low so this is one way you can use these functions so functions are quite useful especially when you are doing a lot of work you can just create a function and be autom automating it perfectly so thank you for watching and then please don't forget to subscribe comment or like or dislike if you have any suggestions or questions don't put this in the comment section so that everybody can benefit thanks again for watching and stay blessed